plaintiff, Nicole Ferreira, says she was friends with the defendant and his wife, but their relationship was toxic. And anytime they split up, he would send inappropriate videos and pictures of himself to Nicole. She's suing him today for the balance due on a loan. Defendant Craig Levy says he's only in court because Nicole regrets loaning money to his soon-to-be ex-wife, who is a crack addict. Craig insists the money was given directly to his ex, and he never saw a dime of it. So Nicole needs to sue his ex. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. I have been friends with uh, Craig and his wife for oh, a little over 10 years. Um, during that time, their relationship, I noticed, has got very toxic with each other. They're always arguing, fighting, eventually cheating on each other. Um, which who comes to tell you all these things? Who? Oh, well, well both of them, actually. Really? He okay. would tell me she cheated. She tells me he was sleeping with somebody. Right. Well, that sounds well, like they're both good friends then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, they were at one point. You don't want to discuss that with good friends. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, during these breakups, though, um, later on, he would send me inappropriate uh, pictures and videos of himself, which kind of made me stop talking to him for a while. Uh, he made me feel uncomfortable. He was always texting me, trying I mean, to sleep with him. I mean, what type of videos? Um, I didn't submit them, but I Racing. can show you if you want to. <laughs> inappropriate pictures of himself. Having to do with nudity or yes. something? Yes, yes. Nude pictures, videos. Not something no I wanted to look at. <laughs> Not no wonder you suing him. Go ahead. <laughs> uh. Well, they pretty much made me uncomfortable, and I stopped talking to him. And then I... Uh, Let me get back to what you're saying sure. while I'm having fun with it. Okay. I, I'm skipping over the fact, it sounds, that he went behind his wife's back to send nudie pictures to a mutual friend. Uh, multiple mutual friends. Multiple mutual friends. And then he lied to Other her about it. friends of his woman? Uh, uh, friends of hers and his and mine. OK. And then um, I heard about that they were getting divorced for real this time. So, and that she had wanted to relapse, and I'm like, okay, I, I need to get my money. I've been patient mm, enough. See, we hadn't gotten to the money yet, but yes. I'll allow him to give me some background, and then we'll get to the specifics. Okay. Sorry? Um, we're here because um, she's money hungry, and she made a bad choice and decided to trust my soon-to-be ex-wife, who turned out to be a drug addict slash crackhead addict, and I'm the one being punished for it. Well, she'll tell me, and I'll understand what you're saying because I have no clue. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you suing for? What is um, referring well, to? Well, it's a loan for, well, it was for $8,000. They only paid me back 1000 of it. They both came over to my house with this promissory note asking if they can borrow $8,000 for a down payment on a house. He was part of it? Yes, he was. He was mm -hmm. there. And now he insults you and say he doesn't know why you would trust them? Correct. He Go thinks ahead. because he's getting a divorce now, he don't. I understand. No, I'm going with that statement of sound kind of like you're a fool. Mm -hmm. You were a fool to trust or them. Trust them, yes. That's, sounds like you were saying. Um, gave them multiple chances. They were going to pay me back, you know, with taxes. They were going to pay me back so much a month, you know. How long ago was it? Oh, this was in August of 2017. Mm -hmm. And they started out with paying me regularly up until May of 2018. Mm -hmm. Then it kind of went away. And you were told she had a relapse? Yes. Your wife had a relapse? Mm. Crack, you say? Yep. Did she go to NA? Or she, she's just out there and you don't she's know what's happening there. with her? She's just out there. Has she gone to rehab before? She has on and off. How Hasn't worked times? Um, several times as far as I know. And you supported I her? I did All at right. the time. You been to rehab? No. Okay. No. You want to? No, I don't. I don't partake. You don't partake in rehab? No, I don't partake to, in if drugs you're to, high, to go man, to rehab. Need, huh? I don't partake in drugs to go to rehab. Oh, okay. 
I'm sorry, I thought you were saying you enjoy what you do and you ain't gonna partake in no rehab. All right, having fun, which I know that's not what you were saying, but I'm saying that, and you probably know, you've dealt with this as I have and so many others since the 80s with crack addiction and crack addicted loved ones. Um, takes about five to seven times to go to rehab for, for crack addiction. Five, six, seven times is what I've seen on average where it worked. Rehab for severely addicted crack addicts and sounds like that's what she might be. Yeah. All right. And you say you had an agreement with them? Yes, I did. Um, I have a promissory note from both of them that they both what signed. What did they say they wanted the money for again? A house. A down payment on a house. Oh, okay. Never get, you've never nope. seen that American house. dream never happened. <laughs> All right. What page again? Uh, page one uh, through three. They're always arguing, fighting, eventually cheating on each other. Um, which Who was, comes to tell you all this? Both of them, actually. Really? He okay. would tell me she cheated. She told me he was sleeping with somebody. Right. Well, that sounds like they're both good friends. Then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, they were at one point. You only discuss that with good friends. <laughs> um, during these breakups, though, um, later on, he would send me inappropriate uh, pictures and videos of himself. Defendant Craig Wiebe is being sued by his former friend, who claims every time Craig and his estranged wife split up, he would send her inappropriate videos and pictures of himself. Sir, you're saying that uh, your wife took the money? Or tell me, how did she get her hands on it? Give me the whole thing about her running off with the money. Well, as far as I know, i never seen the money. The money was, I'd never even seen a dime of it. She had an agreement with my soon-to-be ex-wife, and... Whatever she did with the money, she did with it. I never seen a dime of it, and it was supposed to go for a house. And she, at, at the time, she was really good with money. She was very smart. And one day, I asked her, you know, where the down payment was, and she couldn't tell me. Next Man. thing you know, she smoked it up. All right, but you signed it. We were sitting at the at her table, and um, they asked me to sign it, so I signed it. They both came over to the house. They asked if they could come over Whatever and talk to me. Whatever case, he signed it, and unless you have a defense such as duress or you're intoxicated and unable to appreciate the uh, actions that you took and bound you to a legal contract, other than that, you know, I don't see why you wouldn't think you're bound, sir by this contract and you can sue either of the two or you can yes. sue them both. I did try signing them, uh, suing them both. I was unable to locate where right. Jennifer is at the time. And he says, he's telling me he's been threatening me and everything saying he does not have to pay. Threatening um, you how? Just threatening saying that he's going to spread rumors and lies about me, embarrassing. Oh. He's, I best drop his name from the lawsuit. I have choices to think of. Well, you so. know, I like some good old-fashioned <laughs> gossip. What type of room was um, you going to drop on? I don't know. I ain't dropping any room. You don't want to? What kind of room has he got on? I have no idea. <laughs> That's what I was like. Yes, you do. What no, you I do? don't, actually. I, he just... He got you on video? <laughs> Not, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. You say he's a video man. Well, he sent me videos of himself. I'm not That's out there showing point. videos of anybody. Get you caught up. Mine. No, okay. Mine. <laughs> I was just asking. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, all right. But yeah, he was, he's just basically telling me he doesn't have to pay me anything. Um, that's kind of like his model. His thing is, is he's always right. Even when he's wrong, he's right. It's like, okay. so I'm All right. Gonna... Well, today, I don't know what he thinks um, this decision is, whether it's right or wrong, but the decision is that you win. $5,000 oh. is your judgment. Oh, you. He has no legal defense uh, other than suggesting that it was all his wife, yet he signed on to it. Uh, and therefore, you're reliable as well. If you're going for a divorce, uh, you can lay the claim of this judgment that you have to pay against any assets that she might collect as part of the division of the assets during the divorce. In other words, you can even amend it. Go back up to the clerk's office or wherever you filed it and say, I want to amend it to include this $5,000 judgment I had to pay for her uh, bill or whatever, then it's part of the divorce proceeding. All right, good luck to you. Judgment for the plaintiff in the meantime. Have a good day. Thank you.
still consider you a friend at heart. I mean, you've been good. I just didn't like the way you were coming at me. I, you know, it, you signed it too. You know, you're responsible for it too. And I wish it didn't have to come to this. I really didn't. You and me both.